Okay, good. <laughs> this is why she wanted You're to turn it on. Please don't edit me out. I'll just be like right here, just so. Emma, Emma. Okay, Emma, good enough. So we're starting to generate some hydrogen now, just like we did before, and just like before, I'm going to give it a second just to make sure I've expunged all the air that might have been in here. Now I'm going to start to fill my container. I always get a little bit of acid on my hands, and I know that because by the end of the day my hands are quite itchy. It's okay, it happens. Yeah, it's real acid on his arm. It's like another day. A day in the life. Did you guys check out my beautiful little paper towel holder? Oh, so excited about that. It's actually quite nice. Is it new? Yes, it is new. I, saw, I think I saw some. Like, Wait, what's new? The paper towel holder. Oh. So the next thing I need to wait for is just make, making sure that I've got a completely filled can. And typically when I start to see vapor coming out the top, I'm just going to put a little tab of tape over the hole that I had initially. I'm just going to let it keep doing its thing. But I want to draw your attention over here. I made a little timeline. And this timeline is of what might be happening in the Pringles can to help us make sense as to why it behaves the way that it's going to behave. Okay? So initially, I'm going to have a situation where my can is completely filled with hydrogen. So if I wanted to think of it like a gas gauge, my tank is full. What's it full of? It's filled, filled with hydrogen gas. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is the same thing that I tried last time on Kemaween, was I'm going to make a little hydrogen candle. In fact, if you made a separate notability file, you could very well call this the hydrogen candle demonstration. So I'm going to ignite this particular candle, and it'll make a very faint blue flame, and you'll see it in just a moment. It'll look really just like that, and it'll be so hard for you to see. It won't show up on the video, okay? But if you listen carefully, when I go on, I put the uh, candle of science close to it to ignite it, you should hear a little to let you know that it's lit, okay? And then from there, we need to be patient. Most of so the classes, scary. actually both classes have taken about the same amount of time. It's taken about two and a half minutes. Oh my god. Two and a half minutes will feel like 12 hours yeah. Yeah. when you're staring at something that you know is going to explode. <laughs> okay? That's okay. So I think... Maybe we should start the video a little bit later. Yeah. Is, that's why I typically say, yes. Is this similar? Is, is this just like a bigger version of the little rocket we use? Oh yeah. Oh. Except it's not the exact same procedure, right? It's not, not igniting. Yeah. Yeah. Across the world. yeah. Let's stop the video and start scared. it again. It's, really it's, okay, it's okay, I can edit this through. It's okay. fine. Just oh, let it go. Just let it go. It's okay. Face it. <laughs> I want everyone to. Emma, no one wants to see that right now. We're watching. I'm going to take this over here, and then I'm going to get ready to light the candle. Okay. Oh. Guys, Guys nothing's going to happen right now. Don't That's right. Because you know what? It's just like your very first trial on Friday. Where I said, hey, first try, 6-0. And you guys did it, and you got the little sparker ready, and you're like, eee! And then you went, and then nothing happened, right? And nothing happened because you didn't have everything there that you needed. Where'd my torch go? Megan? I'm actually so scared. Did you just call us Megan? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Take the tape off. Oops, Here it is. There it is. Now, if you look, and for those of you that are closest, it's probably easiest for you to see, but there is a very faint oh, yeah. flame. It's very, very hard to see, and unfortunately, I can't let you come closer. Okay? Now, that flame will continue to burn. And what I want you to think about is, what's happening inside to the contents of that can? It's burning combustion. Yeah. Well, oxygen. combustion's not happening inside. Combustion's happening right at the top, right? Yeah. yeah. But, but you're right that it's combustion. Inside and con combines with the hydrogen. Yeah. So there's so oxygen in the air, ratio. And, and, it's, and, it's a, and it's combining in a two-to-one ratio at where the flame is. But what's going to happen inside eventually 
is a much larger analog to what happened when you found the perfect ratio on Friday. Because what's happening inside the can as the hydrogen's being depleted? Oxygen. Well, actually, not oxygen. What's coming in that contains oxygen? Air, right? Air is not 100% oxygen, is it? No. No, in fact, it's about 20%. 20% oxygen. So, how long has that been? A minute. A minute, okay. Now, at this point, it's helpful if we wait quietly. Because if you listen, you might be able to hear a little... And when it gets kind of like baritone, that's when it's going to go. Okay. Are we going to like drop our iPads? No. I dropped my iPad yesterday. Yeah. But it survived. When was going to happen? Has it been two minutes? Ready?